London, England, known for its architecture, culture, and royalty. But these days, it boasts a new king, the king of all chefs. Meet Gordon Ramsay, a man of the people. He was raised on the working class streets of Glasgow, but left home to pursue his true passion, cooking. Lamb sauce, please. In 1993, at the age of 27, Ramsay opened his first restaurant. I like this table. It's my favorite table. And only two years later, he was voted England's best chef, an honor he has held for nine consecutive years. Thank you. Today, his nine critically acclaimed restaurants, best-selling books, and top-rated television series have made Gordon Ramsay a superstar. Here we go. From ours. But his drive for perfection in the kitchen... I'll do the lamb if you can't do it! ...has labeled him the bad boy of celebrity chefs. It's the kitchen devil himself! Move He's a three-star Michelin man with attitude. Why are you putting f***ing fish stock on a f***ing risotto? But there's a method to his madness. I've always extracted the best out of individuals because I push them to the absolute max. Get off! That's how you get perfection. It's with this philosophy that he's coming to America. And he's guaranteeing to mold one of these 12 people into a master chef. Ready? Yes, yes chef. chef! Let's get in the kitchen. The person who excels the most will win their very own restaurant. Yes, Hell's Kitchen is like no other restaurant. It's equipped with 72 cameras to capture the real-life drama of living in Gordon Ramsay's world. I know what I can and cannot do. Hurry up! This is one thing I can't do. For this aspiring group of chefs, he will challenge them and inspire them. So you wouldn't be standing here if I didn't believe in you. He will discipline them. Get back on your section and talk to me. Hey, hello, what's this? Get back on your section! And encourage them. Well done. I am a very proud man. He will push them to their limits. You're useless, you know that. I am. Goodbye. He was trying to get me to be, I guess, better than I am. It's Ramsay's recipe for turning an absolute unknown into a master chef. That is pink in the middle. He's a freaking maniac. Come on, there, Aaron, get your ass back in here. He's the devil. Like he's a Simon Cowell of the kitchen. He's way worse than Simon Cowell. This is Hell's Kitchen. Previously on Hell's Kitchen, 12 aspiring chefs had their first encounter with Gordon Ramsay. Who is this? But the chef was far from impressed. That is absolute dog <laughs> The spices are far too bloody hot. You've got a palate like a cow's backside. With virtually no time to settle in, they received shocking news. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen is open. <gasps> oh my God, I don't have the potatoes. Chef Ramsay quickly realized that turning one of these 12 people into a master chef was going to be more difficult than he ever imagined. Just don't do, do it again, okay? Caroline, get on the stove and help. Did you hear my question? Answer it! And no matter where he turned, from the red kitchen... If you all just shut up, we'll do it perfectly. ...to the blue kitchen... No talking, concentrate. ...neither team could deliver. This restaurant is sinking faster than a Titanic. Shut it down. After a disastrous first night, Chef Ramsay declared the red team the losers and gave Elsie a huge responsibility. I want you to nominate two of your team for elimination. I'm not in a good place right now. And although Elsie assured Dewberry that he was safe... If I get picked and Chef decides it's time for me to go, well... Enough. You're not going anywhere. Ultimately, she turned her back on him. My second nominee is Dewberry. With Carol Ann as her other nominee, Chef Ramsay was surprised by her decision. Jeff, you dodged those bullets well tonight. But in the end, it was Carol Ann who lost her dream just 12 hours after entering Hell's Kitchen. I told you, never, ever turn your back on the team. Hell's Kitchen no longer needs you. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Having survived their first day in Hell's Kitchen, the remaining 11 head back to the dorms for some much needed rest. In 
narrowly escaping elimination, Dewberry seeks a moment alone. But he's not alone. Bye. That was really hard on you, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really kind of difficult to really hold much of a grudge, but if the next time it were me picked, it would be payback time. <laughs> Jeff, dude, you lucked out. <laughs> You were fired. Do I feel relieved? Yeah, I feel relieved. Okay. But, I mean, you guys, I, but you know what? I feel like I got one more day. What, what kind of breakfast are you going to be making Elsie tomorrow morning? That's my big curious. I'm a little curious right now. Because <laughs> he wanted you something ferocious, man. Jeff, boy, oh boy. You dodged those bullets well tonight. You know that. Man, I know. He, he wanted, wanted me out. He wanted you something bad. He's going to look for some improvement is what he's going to look for now. After a torturous first night, Chef Ramsay decides to send the teams a wake-up call, both figuratively and literally. This morning, I heard all this banging. At first, I thought maybe it was somebody running through with a gun. You just never know these days. God, don't touch anything. Just get in the kitchen now for roll call. Now, 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 now. Put your clothes on and let's go. Chef Ramsay has a plan to turn Hell's Kitchen around, and he's looking to get an early start. It didn't feel great standing there in front of the blue team, which was all ready to go, and uh, Chef Ramsay was just shaking his head, you know, wondering where Chris was. Nearly seven minutes after everyone is gathered, Chris finally shows up. Good morning. Good morning, morning Chef. Blue team, you actually arrived as a team. Not bad. Chris. Fifteen years experience in a professional kitchen. Last one in. Lazy Pathetic. I suggest you're up first. Next roll call. Yes, sir. You don't leave that dorm until your team are standing with you. Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, chef. And last night's performance wasn't good for any of you. And we had a bad, bad night. And we're still going to put that behind us and move on. Okay, follow me. Everything Chef Ramsay does has a purpose. Today's lesson is a challenge that will teach the importance of attention to detail. There was this lovely, beautiful silver tray in front of us and a zucchini laid out. I thought we were going to learn how to peel a zucchini. Lift off your domes. When I saw all the squid, my heart just sank because I absolutely hate seafood. I don't like anything that comes out of the sea. After Carol Ann's departure from Hell's Kitchen, the red team is down a member, so Chef Ramsay needs to even out the teams. Michael, yeah. you prepared squid before? Yeah. Good. Sit out this challenge, please. 